everybody and welcome to another TEFL Tuesdays where I share my experience and resources teaching English as a foreign language. Today we're sticking with the PowerPoint theme and over the next few weeks we're going to look at some fantastic game templates and I'm going to show you how to edit them to make your classes go from good to excellent. Excellent. <laughs> Okay, so the first game we're going to be looking at today is from TomsTeffel.com and it's called Super Mario Classroom Blast. Now this is a great quiz game with some unpredictable outcomes and it really gets the kids excited and going. Now to get this one you go to TomsTeffel.com and you click the games tab. Then you scroll down to find Super Mario Classroom Blast. Click download and click direct download on Dropbox again to download the template. There is a pre-made version called Christmas Blast which is much easier to edit but it's filled with like Christmas imagery and this one you can make it yourself from scratch. So once you've got the PowerPoint open it up and click enable editing. So I'll show you first how the game works. Usually I split the class up into four teams. Start on slide two. You can delete the bit that says by Jennifer Young but please do consider sending your thanks to Jennifer Young. So I usually write the point system on the board so that you don't forget. So one coin equals one point and shells equal minus points. So green is minus two, red is minus three and blue is minus five. The start is said to make you invincible for two rounds but that can be very difficult to track so I usually change it to plus eight points which makes for a much bigger pop from the kids. When somebody gets a lucky star they kind of go a little bit mental. And finally, for the enemies, it says to lose half points, but I usually change it to zero points because it can get a bit disheartening if you're taking too many points off the kids. You ask the students to choose a mushroom, then answer a question. After the question is answered, you click the slide to receive the answer. Then you click the Mario on the side to reveal how many points you should give. There's also a mini game with three question boxes where the student chooses one of three boxes. Each box is linked to either a monster, shell, coins or the lucky star. To edit these questions, you go to slide five and change the text in the top of the question. So what is this color? Question mark. Then you add a picture by going to the insert tab, clicking online pictures. You can also insert pictures from files or anything that you've already got. Red, find an appropriate picture. Click insert, Let's scale that down so it looks good. We can delete this, get it looking saucy. Once you're done that, you put the answer in by Click in the text at the bottom, red. And then once you play it, it should look like this. What is this color? Red. Three points. Now to create new questions, you click the text box, hold control, click the picture, press control C, move down to the next slide, control V. Make you start editing the text and the pictures again. So we're gonna stick with what is this color. Right click on the picture, change picture from online sources. And this time we're going to go with blue. Decent enough picture. Insert. And keep inserting your questions until you get to slide 24 and you're finished and ready to play. And as Neil Buchanan used to say, here is one that has been made earlier. It's Super Mario Bros. Christmas Classroom Blast Christmas Edition. Points. Minus points. Add 8 points. Get zero points. Choose a mushroom. What colour is Rudolph the Red Nose? What colour is Rudolph the Reindeer's Nose? Red. Click the Mario. Mini game. Which one? Middle. The left. Boom. No points. And it disappears. And that's all I've got time for today. Hope this has helped you improve your class and provided a great game for you to spice up the classroom. If it's been helpful, consider smashing that like button or just throwing a cheeky thumbs up and a smile at the screen. If you want to see more of these videos, then please consider subscribing. If you have any questions or topics you'd like me to cover in this series, then feel free to pop them in the comments. Also, what PowerPoint games have you used successfully in your classes? Let me know because I'm always looking for new resources. And once again, don't do anything I wouldn't do.